What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and we're playing more KSP, obviously. Uh, you may notice right away that it's nighttime, but it's actually light out. I want to thank a user for suggesting the minimum ambient light mod. That's what we're used to, but it lets me just slide the bar up so you guys can actually see what's going on. Awesome. So, Cygnus. Cygnus was in the news recently because it did a... Uh, uh, a restocking of food, water, etc., things like that, in the uh, International Space Station. Happened yesterday, I think, so I thought, why not just send up a little kind of replica probe? I couldn't quite get the, you know, the round, the cool round solar panels, so I kind of did my best. The, the Cygnus has a bunch of, like, stuff up here, so I just, like, threw some random stuff on there. It's got, you know, the big silver thing, so I put the big silver things on. It's basically a nice recreation. A stock recreation. Now, something I just just thought of is I have no idea where the Cygnus docks. Like, legitimately, no idea where this thing is supposed to uh, latch onto. Can I just like stick it on an end cap? I'm just gonna stick it right there, just because I like I don't know where else to put it. It's also really close. <laughs> so let's do that. I think it probably docks by this end, right? I'd assume it docks by the front, by the nose. All right, there we go. Let's get down there. By down there, I just mean sort of 60 meters below us. We're just gonna boogie down there. We're gonna dock. We're gonna transfer, I guess, fuel in place of food because we don't have actual food yet. There's mods for food, you know, like for every game hour up in the top left corner there for every game hour there's a certain unit of food that they'll consume there is a thing for that it's just until they had like a stock habitation and stock food requirements i don't care i'm not a big modder there's so many mods mods are endless if you start modding where, where do you stop and that was my concern in the beginning and that's why i didn't want to do quite literally any modding um i did do you know the earth the high-res earth cloud thing. There just happens to be no clouds on this side of the earth today. They're there. Um, you know, I did the ambient light mod. We've done uh, hyper edit. We've done spacey. We've tried infernal robotics, which was really cool. I tried a lot of mods, but none that are really, like I, I would never use mech jab. Not in a million fucking years would I use mech jab. Because at that point, it's like, it'd be like playing Super Mario Brothers and not only having infinite lives, but having infinite, you know, fire Mario. There's, there's, there's just something wrong about that. That's not, that's not how we were meant to play this game. You know, we were meant to play this game more fly by wire like I do, you know, I don't even make maneuvers that much. Most people will make 90% of their moves are done through maneuvers. I do them rarely, and I'm not proud of that. I'd, I'd use maneuvers more if I could. I just sort of chose not to. I'd rather do this, the sort of the, again, fly-by-wire. I want my hand on that throttle and that hand on the joystick, and I want to fly the whole fucking thing, basically by eye. All right, we're coming in a little hot, I think. Where's, where's down? There it is. Just trying to kind of level out a bit. Because I do want to sort of go down still. There we go. Perfect. Get my finger primed on the button that's going to send us back up. I should probably do... I should have done this like a long time ago. A lot of you are probably shouting at me to just change the orientation of the view, but I've been playing sort of like this for three years, so I don't, I don't, I don't do that very much. All right, solar cell is away. Oh, going this way. 
we kind of overcorrected a little bit, so I'm just re-correcting the way we were just kind of going. That's pretty clean. Oh, we're getting a little off target that way. All right, Cygnus is pretty much ready to dock. I hope I'm saying that right. Don't correct me if I'm not, just let me believe. Cygnus is coming in for a dock, a little crooked. You know, this is obviously not what real NASA would do, but again, we're flying by wire here. Flying by the seat of our pants. <clears throat> and honestly, for me, this is good enough. So we're just gonna slow off some of the speed just so I can come in with very little contact. You know, we don't want to shimmy and shake the ISS because we're hitting it half a mile an hour. Boink. Lovely connection. Lovely. Lovely jubblies. We just had an orientation change. That was weird. It was like it preemptively changed the orientation, assuming we were going to complete this docking. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so, just for hypothetical, I can go boink. I can go boink. Is there fuel anywhere in here? Is there... I have to have, like, a fuel tank on here somewhere. Is that one? Aha! All right, in, in. There we go. So we're, we're hypothetically transferring the food right now. We're not, but we just are. We would have a payload of... This is kind of a sad part of the Cygnus thing, is they've always taken up ashes of astronauts that have passed away. So we had an astronaut pass away. I can't remember who it was though. Was it? I, I, was it? It was one of our big dudes, wasn't it? Like Patney or something? Like one of the big names? What was that guy? What was that guy that was in fucking everything way, way, way back when? Why can I not remember who died? I'm such a bad CEO. I see so many faces that I can't keep them all. You know, I can't keep them all in check. Who do we got up here? Laser. C22, is that it? Jeb, Bill, Bob, Valentina, I got all the, the standards. All right, so we're done. Oh, where are we in orientation? All right, this the Cygnus will re-burn up in Earth's Atmo. They don't actually reuse Cygnus. So let's try and destroy this. The reason I say try, because I haven't had the best luck with the aerodynamics. You know, things that shouldn't burn up on re-entry do, and things that should don't. It's just, it's just weird. So we're just gonna, we're gonna deorbit this thing. We're gonna put it down in kind of a steep trajectory. We're gonna try and keep our speed. Maybe I should even like open the orbit up a little bit. Like we're at a hundred thousand meters or something. I could open it up to like a quarter million or three hundred thousand, and then dive it down. I mean, that could work. Anyways, let's get Solar back out. Because I'm sure they would on the real Cygnus. Cygnus. All right, goodbye, International Space Station. I hope those uh, Doritos and Funyuns and Mountain Dew and whatever zitty-inducing food nerds eat, I hope that fares thee well. I hope the ashes get spread lovingly, maybe on a spacewalk. I assume that's probably what happens, eh? I can't imagine Cygnus just dumps it. You know, I assume it goes up there in a bag. Someone actually goes out, says a few last words, and... Whew. One thing that happened that was kind of neat is one of the Cygnuses exploded on uh, during takeoff. So they sent up, on a future mission, they sent up another batch of that guy's ashes, which was really cool. Like, that little payload is worth tens of thousands of dollars, you know what I mean? And for them to just say, no problem, we're gonna send, we're gonna make sure that this guy gets into space, that is just awesome. NASA is awesome. NASA's the best. All right, we're gonna point to retro. Oh, I have to turn on engines. Oh, right, I just dumped all our fuel. That's not food, that's not, that's, that's fuel. 
So we're going to go back. Because otherwise, it's going to take for fucking ever for us to deorbit. Um, excuse me? Oh, orbit, surface, orbit. Okay, what? I wish you to do that. Yep, perfect. And then do this. Great. Great. All right, let's just do some movie magic here real quick. And star wipe. All right, simple enough. But I did notice we've got a little hiccup. And that is a new bug. It's a new bug I've discovered where sometimes when you try and fast forward, it'll say something like, you cannot fast forward more than one time speed when over terrain. So the game will occasionally think I'm on the surface. And I don't know why. Because it'll let me do fast forwarding throughout, throughout, throughout. And then at some point it's just like, I'm done. No more fast forwarding for you. So it just stops. So I'm, I'm very unsure of how long this is going to take. We'll probably just do some star wipes and, and do the last 70,000 meters or something. I, I don't know. But it's really fucking annoying because it's actually been happening like a lot lately. So I'm going to have to probably ditch a lot of mods and sort of see if I can engineer piggyback like which one did it or if it's KSP in general. If you guys have seen that, let me know what's up because I'm a little perturbed. All right, so we got our fuel. We got our fuel back. So food delivered, fuel in. That's at least what we're going to roleplay. Thanks, ISS. Thanks for the hand. Thanks for the helping handy. Get pointed to retro. Are we really in perfect retro? Really? Bizarre. Okay, so we got to get out of the way. Otherwise, we're going to hit the ISS. Doesn't matter which way we go. Sure, up. Up and right. 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 So yes, this should be easy peasy. Just a burn, a deorbit, and a fiery, fiery explosion, hopefully. That's the dream, right? All right, let's start a bit of burn. Where are we? We're coming into light? Perfect. Are we in light? Ah, we're in the beginnings of light. We can turn down ambient just a bit. Start to get that sun's sunrise hue. Fun orange colors and stuff. A little bit of cool planet shine in the background. It's another one of the mods I use. Cygnus is deorbiting. So what we want is to carry as much speed as possible, I think, as I said earlier, without coming down in a really inopportune place. I'm still targeting something, aren't I? Focus Kerbin. Probably want orbital, probably. All right, like I said, we should probably... No, where's, where's the lighting button? I want to get that thing off the fucking screen. There we go. I had said we probably want to open the orbit up, so it's really like falling in and accelerating as it comes down. That might not be such a bad idea. How much fuel do we have left? Loads. Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Bellissimo. Okay, we're going to burn RCS as well, just to get as much thrust as possible. Yeah, we're only using like two units a second or something, so we'll open up an orbit to at least the same height as the new space station, 300,000 or so. And that'll give us a nice gravity assist plummet into Earth's orbit. <clears throat> shouldn't really have to do this. You know, destroying a craft should be as easy as just pitching the orbit straight into the Earth. I mean, what we could do is come in over water 
you know, and just do like a, if it doesn't explode, it'll at least just hit the water. Because this, like, this is not working. This is not doing it for me, right? We're in full throttle. Nothing's happening. Like, this orbit is barely fucking moving. So... This is going to take a while. So why don't we do another star wipe? I'll just burn and burn and burn and burn when I've got an orbit that's heading down. Right, I can't. I can't fast forward, so I can't stop the rotation. Yeah, because I can't fast forward. This is going to take a while. So let's do uh, let's do a star wipe. All right, and star wipe. All right, we are out of fuel. We're going to come down over land, but we're coming down so steep that I, I feel at 1,703, like 3,500 miles an hour or something, we're probably going to explode on reentry. If not, we'll explode when we hit the fucking ground. But I can't fast forward, can I? Oh, now it'll let me fast forward. How pleasant. How pleasant game. <laughs> this game's such a pain in the ass. I swear to GERD game! I swear to GERD! Alright, so we're coming in at the mercy of gravity. Cygnus 420 YOLO, whatever we're calling this thing. Um, making its re-entry, re-rendezvous with Earth. We're going home, fam. All right, we are in, we are accelerating. We're at 4,000 miles an hour, roughly. We're hitting some pretty thick atmo and nothing is heating up. Let's just double check. Yeah, nothing's on there, good. So, like, okay, where's the heat? If this were my space shuttle, there we go. <laughs> if this were my fucking space shuttle, everything would be red right now. 25,000 meters, like 3,500 3, miles an hour. Come on, blow up, dude. 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 Like, especially this thing. Especially this fucking clamp. Dude. Dude, really? Dude. Are you fucking kidding me? I, I, had, I had that sneaking suspicion. Like, if a Kerbal is gonna Kerbal me, this craft is gonna survive re-entry. <laughs> and sure enough, it survived fucking re-entry. There's absolutely no way this should have happened. Maybe if I had, like, turned it around, like, put this part forward. I doubt it would have helped. This thing should have popped. This thing has a really low tolerance for heat and stuff. That should have popped. Now, the irony is going to be when this thing hits the ground and fucking bounces, we're going to know this game is fucking rigged. <laughs> rigged. Hacks. Hacks. I swear to God, look. No hacks. Hacks. God damn it. Sometimes I love this game, sometimes I fucking hate this game. Because <laughs> it's like, it knows what you want to do. It knows full well what I'm trying to accomplish. And it's like, <laughs> let's fuck them. Here comes ground. About 300 miles an hour. Should be a good explosion. Actually, a lot of that survived. Nope, there it goes. One little piece. Nope, there it goes. Yep. One. Perfect. Perfect. I did not want to have to take a single piece off the ground. Perfect. Perfect. Can I not can I not end this? I have to end this way? Alright, well, guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you comment, hope you share, hope you tell me what you're playing. I hope you honor the spaceship gods during your KSP playthroughs. Until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.